Hello, Virgos. I'm going to get right into the reading. So whatever the cards want to say, Let's see what the story is here. Queen of Swords. Eight of Wands. King of Swords. Knight of Wands. The Star. The Page of Cups. I feel like there's going to be a message here between two people, but they're both very guarded right now. It's like they're both in Queen and King of Swords energy. And this could be two men and two or two women as well. So just even if I say it's a male, if you know it's a female, just take it as it resonates. But there's some kind of message coming in. Um, I'm going to look more into, into seeing what this message is. But it's like they're both very guarded. I feel like this could be a couple too that might be a... Uh, at a distance, maybe they haven't been in communication. There might have been a lot of fights, power struggles. I feel like I feel like they're just both very defensive. They're both very prideful. They're both in this kind of cutthroat energy where they're really, you know, not wanting to get hurt, really standing their ground, really kind of being a little bit they both have their walls up right now. I feel like maybe this could be a power struggle as well. And maybe it's like who's gonna message first? You know what I mean? It's like there's just and it looks like the one in the feminine energy might be the one to message first. But it's almost like this energy of just, just being at a, at a standstill where it's like nothing's really, nothing's been really moving. They're waiting for you to message or waiting for them to message. It's, it's just like a power struggle here. We have the star on the page of cups, the three of wands. Six of Wands. Yeah, someone's been waiting for this for a while and they're getting pissed off about the wait because it's almost like it, like there's this cycle that keeps repeating with this person where it's like maybe you guys go days or weeks or even months without talking or there's if you are talking, it's like like passive aggressive, like nothing's being said. Maybe you guys make small talk here and there, but you're not really like saying what you feel. Like no one's really, like no one wants to be the first one to be vulnerable here is basically what I'm getting. Um, show me more about this message. Is this, is this this queen of swords that's sending this message? What is this message going to be about? The magician. Ace of pentacles. Eight of cups. Justice. I feel like this actually, this might not be a physical message. Take it as it resonates. Like if you feel intuitively like you need to message this person, then go for it, you know. But, and I take no responsibility for what anyone does or doesn't do as a result of my readings. It's really up to you to listen to your intuition and decide that for yourself it's going to be different for everybody but for some I'm almost feeling like this is more of a psychic message is this a, is this an actual physical message for most of them you know is this more of like a okay I see what it's saying here it's it's sending a message not in like a, a sense of a physical message but you're sending a message with your like you're psychically you're sending you're sending a message you know what I mean like you're the, the what you're posting on social media what you're saying to your friends right now, what your your energy is saying right now, there's something like you're sending some kind of message. You're sending some kind of message. I feel like you've just stepped into this magician energy where you're like, I'm so sick of the power struggle. I'm sick of they're not saying what they're feeling. I'm not saying what I'm feeling. It's like just at a standstill, like nothing's just stagnant. Just it's been stagnant for way too long. It's been a roller coaster for way too long. And I feel like with the magician here, you're you're manifesting this. You're like you're stepping into your power. You're like we're 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 doing this, we're not doing this. This almost seems it doesn't seem like you're directly giving them an ultimatum, but it seems like you're indirectly giving them giving them an ultimatum. Your energy is giving them an ultimatum cuz they they feel that your energy has shifted and you're in this energy where you're like I'm going to have justice. There's going to be justice here. 
Um, you know, there's either going to be a new start, something physical, like Ace of Pentacles is, is you know, Pentacles is about like the physical world, material, abundance. And so you're basically saying like either, you know, you're going to step up and we're going to have this new start, something I can physically see, not just a telepathic connection, not, you know, behind the scenes, none of this. Like I want a real physical relationship. I want something solid, grounded, stable, or I'm walking away. There will be justice here. You know, she's, she's not happy. She's pissed. This queen of swords is pissed. She's like, you're, you're either coming in now or you're losing me. Like there's going to be justice. Um, I'm hearing that song. What is that song? I'm tired of being your unofficial girl. You know, it could be male or female. Take it as it resonates. But, um, What is this message? How is this message going to affect this person? Even if it's just telepathic or just, like I said, just, just your energy. This person's picking up on your energy and you're matching their energy more. Six of swords. Eight of swords. The devil. Two of pentacles. Hmm. Yeah, this person's feeling, it's like there's this conflict that needs to be figured out because it's, <sighs> hmm. it just, it just feels like, it, it feels like this queen of swords is sending this message, but it's, it's, it's almost like, I don't know if the king of swords is taking it well. It's almost making, it might make the conflict kind of worse to a degree. Or it's like he's wanting to like move. It, it's like a power struggle. Like they're both afraid of being wrong. They're both afraid of being vulnerable. They're both afraid of looking stupid. And so they're just kind of like at this standstill where they're just like, it's like aggressive where they they both really want to be vulnerable deep down. Um, I'm seeing, I don't know if you guys ever saw, saw the, the, uh, it's like this statue at Burning Man, but it's a really famous one where it's like this this couple and they have their back to each other and, and it's like a, a wire cage uh, that makes up this couple. And then there's these two little kids at, at this in the bottom of it that are trying to touch each other, like the inner child. Like, you know, it's kind of like that where it's like your inner child. It's like they're trying to connect, but, you know, the mind is getting in the way. The ego is getting in the way on on both ends here. This person does want to move things to calmer water, but it just feels like with the energy the Queen of Swords is putting out, it, it's it kind of feels like kind of feels like they feel trapped. Like they don't know how to move things to calmer water. They don't know what to do next. And the devil, it's like a cycle repeating. Maybe you guys have had this past life cycle or current life cycle where it's like you guys come back together and there's arguments or there's a power struggle. And then, you know, it's like, who's going to cave first? Who's going to message first? And it's like this, this ego battle and two of pentacles is like juggling. So it's, it's like, you know, being in between two worlds kind of. Hmm. Show me how to, show me, what does this queen of swords need to do to get through to this person? King of wands, the moon. Three of Swords, Five of Pentacles, I think this, I think this person is hiding that they actually are heartbroken, they do feel abandoned, so I think kind of, I think, stand, you know, this Queen of Swords, I think that she, he or she needs to stand their ground and they do need to have self-respect. But they have to kind of take a step back now and see where it maybe has just become a power struggle where they need to get on the same page. There needs to be open, vulnerable, consistent communication with this person if this is going to work. Otherwise, it's like you guys are just triggering each other's egos. And this could be a twin flame connection with the, it's like you guys can't really stay away from each other. But there's, you know, trauma bonding and there's, um, I mean, trauma bonding, is it's, it happens. It's normal. I think that's part of relationships a lot of the time, actually. 
Um, cause it's like you connect with people through that. I mean, it's, it's part of who you are, you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm one of those weird people that doesn't see that as a horrible thing, but I, I feel like, I feel, I feel like this queen of swords needs to she, be more of a queen of wands type. I, I feel like, how do I explain this energy? Because they're just at this standstill, you know? Um, I feel like she does need to stand her ground. That is important to have self-respect. It is important because, like I said, there's these patterns that keep repeating where it's like neither of you want to look stupid. But there needs to be that that vulnerability between the two of you or otherwise it's just going to be, there's not going to be communication. If someone doesn't cave first, it's like there's not... There needs to be little gestures that are made on both ends and then you guys can slowly open up to each other. But there needs to be, those walls need to come down on, on both ends. And um, I think part of it is understanding that, you know, this person is, they are heartbroken. They do miss you. They do miss this Queen of Swords. They are sad. Uh, they do feel left out in the cold. So, like, you might be trying to send this message of, like, oh, I'm giving you an ultimatum. Like, you know, you better come get me now or you're losing me forever. And they might actually just feel, like, kind of heartbroken and abandoned. And judgment. King of Pentacles. Queen of Cups. The Fool. Yeah, because they do want a new start. I think they're missing your Queen of Cups energy, though. And it's not saying you should give that to them freely, but it, it's, it's like there needs to be more of a balance because there's so much anger between the two of you right now. There's so much miscommunication. Tell me more about these last four cards. Tell me more about how, to, how does this couple come out of this? How do they, what, is, what does she do to, to get her point across, to, to make him understand? Five of Wands, Ace of Cups. Hierophant, Southern of Swords. Yeah, because she feels like when she is vulnerable, when she does try to make that love offer, try to commit to him, she feels like he takes it for granted. Like he's sneaky. Like he just doesn't, you know what I mean? So she doesn't know what to do. But that's, that's I think that's where that balance comes in because you can't really keep going back and forth between being a Queen of Cups and being a Queen of Swords. You know what I mean? It's like, it's confusing you. It's confusing this person. So like, if this is the type of person that sabotages and you do want to keep dealing with this, if you do want to, you know, this person does seem difficult to deal with. It, it does seem like it's difficult to communicate with this person for sure. So I can understand why someone would go to that queen of swords, would, would become that queen of swords energy. But I think you've got to be more of a queen of wands. It's like someone's going from one extreme to the other where it's like you need to set boundaries, you need to be strong without being hostile, without being competitive, without being aggressive. Because if you're in the queen of swords energy, he's just going to be in the king of swords energy. It's just going to be just clashing. You know what I mean? But if you're in more of a queen of wands, he might be the king of wands where it's like you guys are both still standing your ground, but you're maybe, you know, communicating more openly and you're starting, even though you're both a powerful, you're both powerful on your own, but you guys are able to, you know, keep your integrity, keep that self-respect and set those boundaries on both ends, but still communicate openly and still show some kind of vulnerability, you know, because right now you're both the queen and king of swords, which is, it's like... That's like the divorced couple of the deck. That's, that's, you know, people that are not, that they're both in this aggressive kind of cold guarded energy. Okay. I think this relationship just needs healing. This needs to be healed. You guys both need to have more empathy for each other. I think that you do need to kind of see that you know, I, I think that you've you've started seeing them. I think that this Queen of Swords has started seeing this King of Swords as in a negative light. I think she's kind of started seeing him as like, oh, he's sneaky. He's he's this. He's that. And I think it's kind of saying to have some empathy and hold space for him and see, you know, not making excuse for him, not making excuses for him. I'm not saying that, but basically see, you know, he he is heartbroken. He is sad. See see the inner child. See see the wounding see the love underneath all of it, underneath the fear and the pride, see the love that's still there between you guys. See, 
you know, his wo- his wounded inner child in a way. There is j- just having empathy. Because you guys can both, you have that too. The Queen of Swords has that as well. She's, she's, they both have this inner wounded child. And it's like they're, this inner wounded child is kind of like you're, you're triggering their wounded child and they're triggering yours in a way. Um, I don't usually use that wording, so I don't know where that came from, but, but it, it's like, it's like you guys are just triggering each other, but the love is there. So you both need to kind of get on the same page. Um, but again, yeah, you want to keep your integrity and your boundaries because you don't want this person just doing whatever, like feeling like they can just have their cake and eat it too. But I think that's, again, I think that there's that lack of balance when you've been Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords. It's been all over the place. So there needs to be more of a middle ground where you're still setting boundaries. You're still, you know, you're not letting this person treat you badly. You're not letting them come in and out as they please. You're not allowing any of that. But you're communicating in a way that's assertive, but also gentle and empathetic at the same time. Like, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm not, instead of like, oh, screw you, I'm not tolerating this anymore, I'm done, screw, you know, bye, whatever, you're going to, you know, you're going to say like, okay, I, I really care about you a lot, but I know that I, I know how I deserve to be treated, like, I really, I would like it if you were here more often, or I would like, you know what I mean, just, just finding, finding those healthier, more balanced ways to communicate, so you're still getting your needs met, you're still standing your ground, but you're doing it in a way that they're not going to just see it as an attack and it's just going to be this constant ego battle, this constant, um, I don't know why I heard psychic battle, but like this constant, um, you know, clash. It's like this needs to be healed for this love offer or offer to come in. There needs to be this healing. Three of wands, six of wands. It's like they're matching your energy. You know what I mean? Like this woman feels defensive, so he gets defensive in return. And you might not even be doing it now, but it could just be a warning that you needed not to go back to that energy because maybe you are starting to get frustrated with this person again and you're like, oh, I'm going to post some passive aggressive things or I'm going to... I'm going to tell him off. I'm going to call him tonight and I'm going to drunk dial him tonight and I'm going to let him have a piece of my mind. And it's saying, no, that's not a good idea. Um, it is a good idea for you guys to talk. You guys do need to have an open, honest conversation for sure. But again, in a balanced way, in a way where you don't want to wear your heart on your sleeve, but you don't want to be super guarded either. You want to find that balance, that middle ground, um, because there, there is potential healing here. Tell me what else, what else do we need to know about this? I mean, what else, what, what, what does she need to do to get, to get him to reciprocate, see her side of things? Yeah, there needs to be an end to the conflict, the lovers. Yeah, because there is love here. Seven of Cups. Temperance. For some, I think for some, this Queen of Swords might be drinking too much and there might be a warning here to kind of balance that out and not drink so much because that might be, that might be pushing this man away a little bit. Um, so we got all the cups here and we got temperance too. Southern of Cups is also about like illusion, multiple choices. So I think finding, again, finding that balance, just finding that balance that we talked about the hanged man, the tower. So we got new perspective, two of cups. It's almost like there's like a death and rebirth in this relationship where there's going to be like that tower moment where like these epiphanies come up, but there's going to be a new perspective and there's going to be a shift, a positive shift in this relationship. Four of cups, queen of pentacles, the sun. Six of Pentacles, Four of Wands. Hmm. It's interesting because we have like this card about rejection, but then it's like the sun, like the most positive card in the deck. So I almost feel like they're having to maybe let go of a third party for some.
I think it's also saying that you need to be in Queen of Wands energy, not like Queen of Pentacles is stable. She's grounded, but it's like there needs to be some emotional aspects to this conversation because it hasn't been very emotional lately. I feel because you guys, like I said, you both want to play it cool. You both want to save face. So it needs to, it shouldn't just be like ground, completely grounded and stable because it's like they're, I don't want to say not grounded and stable. How do I explain that? There needs, the Queen of Wands is more passionate. There needs to be some passion in the, in the conversation, but it shouldn't be aggressive. It should be, you know, open and honest, but, but gentle at the same time where not forcing this person, not saying, you know, oh, screw you. I'm leaving if you don't do this and this and this. Tell me more about this. Is there success between this two? These two, is this Queen of Swords and, and King of Swords? Are they going to be able to get? Yeah, Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Six of Cups. Knight of Pentacles is slow moving, but it's 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 grounded. You know what I mean? Like it takes a while to get there, but the Knight of Pentacles is very grounded. Six of Cups, the High Priestess. So I think using your intuition here and also, like I said, kind of not triggering each other's childhood wounds as much, like seeing, relating to them more, you know what I mean? Like understanding you guys have the same abandonment issues. You have the same trust issues. You have the same traumas, the same fears. So I think understanding that about each other, you know, be patient with them the same way that you would want them to be patient with you. Be, be understanding with them. Um, you guys mirror each other quite a bit, which makes me think maybe this is a twin flame relationship for a lot of you. But there is nostalgia here. Yeah, and with the high priestess, yeah, using intuition. Page of Swords, communication, King of Cups, the Emperor, Nine of Pentacles. Two of Wands. Yeah, this person's going to realize they don't want to be single too because Knight of Pentacles is like a single card. It's like abundant. Two of Wands, it's kind of like planning. It's like taking things slow and making these plans. But I feel like someone's going to want to come in quickly with the Knight of Swords. It's like I feel like this person is going to eventually be that King of Cups, that Emperor for this Queen of Swords. But again, the way to get him there is not... Um, by being the queen of queen the king of by being the queen of swords he's just like i said he's going to keep being the king of swords unless there's there needs to be open honest communication there needs to be that balance we talked about um it's kind of like he needs this gentle guidance to get to this point but he he's going to you guys both have kind of big egos honestly so so if if she's the queen of swords he's going to keep being the king of swords that's the important thing to know But again, don't sacrifice your integrity. Don't sacrifice self-respect. It's, it's important to be honest about what you need and what you want. But in a way that's not, again, not aggressive, not demandy. Um, in a way where you guys can just communicate in a really um, balanced but honest way. You know, being assertive yet gentle is really important here. So anyway, I hope that helps somebody. Um, if this resonates, please comment below. Even just leave a heart comment. It really helps me get back in the algorithm. Uh, please like the video, maybe share, subscribe. And if you want a private reading, my email is below. It's dragonenchantress at AOL.com. Thank you guys for watching.